Hello everyone, this is your options guy. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Palantir and then we're going to go over the amount of orders that came in for Palantir, like the, the premium call orders, because it was actually a good amount today. As you can see, it's 103. So we'll do like a, a deep dive into the orders, try to digest like which are the most popular strikes and all that stuff. And then we'll take a look at some technicals, just try to see like where did Palantir break out? Where is it heading? stuff like that and then we're also gonna take a quick look at my portfolio and then just talk about like what i'm doing with pounds here and the other stocks that i'm playing with but before we get into it i just want to emphasize that i'm not a financial advisor uh just talking about my thoughts and opinions doing this for entertainment purposes all right so let's get into it so as you can see here in my portfolio it was actually a pretty good day compared to like yesterday yesterday i was just getting like destroyed especially with workhorse and pounder calls but um as you can see here, pounds here, I, I actually had it on the plus side. It was plus 715 for today. I actually didn't sell. Um, one, I forgot to sell. And two, um, I guess I was just thinking like, okay, like, you know, maybe I'll just wait one more day, see what happens. Tomorrow is the, the big demo day. So it may rally, um, you know, it may continue rallying. Or it could just, you know, start like selling off in the morning like it usually does. But um, we'll see what happens. But hopefully, I uh, you know I didn't make a mistake of not selling today. But overall, let me just quickly talk about the rest of my portfolio. So, uh, Arc was really good today. AMD good, AYX good, Pounds are good. Actually, everything was pretty good. Even Workhorse came back up. Workhorse has been like such a tease, like up five percent, down five percent. You know, one day, then the next day, and then like it just repeats. But I'm still in the, in the negative for workhorse, both in my calls and my shares, but I'm still hanging on to those. And for the pound tier calls, um, I'm expecting, or I'm going to try selling them tomorrow. Hopefully, they're still, like, hopefully the IV goes up. Oh, yeah. The reason why I didn't sell or I was thinking of not selling was because um, the IV is still rel relatively low. So, if we take a look here at the, at my, what's going on here. So as you can see, the IV implied volatility is barely 74%. I think it started off around 60 something and then it jumped up a little bit. So I, IV is, it, the higher it goes, it also makes your contracts worth more. So I think it's actually gonna go up a little bit more, um, especially going into going into um, earnings, which is in May. So it's coming up like another two or three weeks. So usually the IV tends to tick up um, within earnings especially the earnings week. So that's another reason why I was thinking of like not selling because like, you know, earnings is just around the corner. So um, anyways, um, we'll see what happens. I might I might still decide to sell tomorrow. We'll see because I feel like there's going to be a slight pullback because if we take a look at the technicals. So we were able to break this 24, like around 2430, 2440 around that range. We we're able to break through that and then we rallied some more. And right now, this is kind of like our next resistance, actually where we're at right now. So as you can see, we've hit that here, around here, 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 like multiple times. So if we're able to stay above that, then I feel like the next strong resistance would be around 27. And you now we might just be playing around until then. Or, um, well, actually, now that we pass this 2430, I feel like we can probably pointed out as like a support as of right now we'll see so right now i'm putting it as as a, the new support line so the new resistance is pretty much where we're at right now so we need to break out of that or we might just stay within these two lines up here we'll see what happens but if we take a look at the rsi the only thing that worries me is the rsi we're definitely over the oversold i mean over the bot range so once we, you know, break over th this line of overbought, we we usually start coming back down. So another good thing to do, which I might do, is I might sell. I might sell tomorrow morning, seeing what, depending on what happens, and then like if I see like a peak happening, then I might uh, buy some puts, and you know try to get some money on the way, but way down. Maybe we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure if if I will do that just yet. But anyways, let's take a look at the options. So as you can see, Tesla was a clear winner today, like 
huge amount like it has 72.7 million in premium call orders that came in apple number two pounds here not number five but almost in top five 103 orders today which is which is a lot more than its average its average has been around one point something million the past couple days so you can see 6.5 million in premium call orders today we take a look at them so the latest one that came in today was at 416 expiration which is this week 27 strike about 276 um thousand in in that order so or not much money <laughs> in that order so we take a look at where like the most money went in um we have 276 which is that one another 271 for 30 strike for 820 Let's see, and then 820 for 25, and then there's a couple more later on, like the January's 40, 45, and so on. But let's take a look at the ones that are expiring this week, the 416. So if we take a look, there's 27, 25s, 25s, 25 is looking, 24, 25 is looking like an average, 24, 25s. Yeah, so that's pretty much like the, these are the ones that came in today. Um, it's not like overall, but anyways, um, yeah, Palantir is looking like it's it's definitely rallying, it's definitely going up. And sorry about the background noise, by the way. That's like my laptop like heating up right now. But um, well, hopefully you can't hear it. But anyways, yeah, so definitely gonna be holding on to Palantir at least for tomorrow. I just see where it's heading. And then I may sell sell these sell these calls and then just cash in, you know. And then hopefully workhorse also goes up. Like it's yeah, I need workhorse to be like almost at around fifteen in order for me to start turning some profit here. But hopefully that turns around as well. But um, I don't know though. Everything was pretty green today, so we might see a pullback tomorrow. But hopefully workhorse has that like a slight rally in the morning due to the demo day demo day hype but either way um it was good today i, I broke the seventy thousand. hopefully we get to 75 soon and yeah so if you like this video please give a like please subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks